Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train. Today we are going to discuss about the Indian food laws. What do you mean by food laws? Food law is the collection of laws and regulations that govern food production, distribution and consumption. Simply we can say that all the laws and regulations related to food production, distribution and consumption are known as food laws. The food processing industry, one of the largest industries in India, is widely recognized as a sunrise industry because it's having huge potential for uplifting agriculture economy. The food processing industries are one of the largest industries in India and is recognized as a sunrise industry and mainly aims at the upliftment of agriculture economy. The Indian food processing industry is regulated by several laws that deals with sanitation, licensing and other permits. And the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006, we discussed this act in our earlier video. Uh, that is, And this act, uh, before the enforcement of this act, there were so many laws and regulations related to food. After the enforcement of FSSA, that is Food Safety and Standard Act, it initiates a harmonization of India's food regulations as per international standards. Now, we can see which were those laws and regulations prior to the enforcement of FSSA. These are the laws prior to the enforcement of FSSA. The Prevention of Food Adulteration Act 1954, the Essential Commodities Act 1955, the Fruit Products Order 1955, the Meat Food Products Order 1973, the Vegetable Oil uh, products control order 1947 the edible oil packaging regulation order 1998 the solvent extracted oil de-oiled meal and edible floor control order 1967 the milk and milk products order 1992 the prevention of food adulteration act 1954 the this order the pfa act uh, was promulgated by parliament in 1954 to make provisions for the prevention of adulteration of food. It's, it was mainly enacted for preventing the adulteration of food. And the PFA acts cover food standards, general procedures for sampling, analysis of food, power of authorized officers, and nature of penalties and other parameters related to food. The Prevention of Food Adulteration Act mainly aims to prevent the food adulteration and thus it uh, promulgated in 1954. Next one is the Essential Commodities Act 1955. This act was enacted in 1955 to ensure safe and wholesome supply and delivery of certain commodities or products and to prevent hoarding or black marketing without affecting the normal life of people and to make these products available to the consumer at fair price. To avoid black marketing, hoarding and to get the products available to the consumers at fair price, the Essential Commodity Act 1955 was enacted. Next comes the Fruit Products Order. The Fruit Product Order promulgated under Section 3 of the Essential Commodity Act 1955 with an objective to manufacture fruit and vegetable products maintaining sanitary and hygienic conditions. This one is the Fruit Products Order 1955. Next comes the Meat Food Products Order 1973. To enforce strict and quality control on the production and processing of meat and food products order, the Meat Food Products Order 1973 was formulated. Next one is the Vegetable Oil Products Order. And the Vegetable Oil Product Order 1947 and the Vegetable Oil Product uh, uh, that is Standard and Quality Order. 1975 was combined to form and another uh, act vegetable oil product regulation 1998 that is this act was formulated for the proper regulation on manufacture and distribution of vegetable oils next one is a milk and milk products order 1992 this order was 
promulgated under essential commodity act as per the provision of this order any person or dairy handling more than 10000 liters per day of milk or 500 million tons of solid milk needs to be registered within the registration authorities the aim of this order is to increase the supply of liquid milk uh, of deserved quality and also for regulating the production processing and distribution of milk and milk products at some point of time the fruit product order the meat food products order the vegetable oil products order the milk and milk product order are combined to form um, the food products order these are the laws that are repealed after repealed after the enforcement of fssa that is these orders are either abolished or are revoked after the formation of fssa and here comes another set of laws that are deleted or modified with the formation of fssa this includes the standards weights and measure act 1976 the packaged commodity rules 1977 the export quality control and inspection act 1963 the environment protection act 1986 and the environment protection rules 1989 the bureau of indian standards act 1986 the agriculture produce grading and marketing act 1937 the customs act 1962 the foreign trade development and regulation act 1992 let's see in detail one by one standards of weights and measures package commodity rules 1977 has been introduced under standard of weight and measure measurement act 1976 this act aims to regulate trade in pre-packed commodities ensure information about the commodity in the package ensure availability of correct quantity this act is to regulate trading pre-packed commodities which ensure the correct information of the commodity in the package and it and also ensures the correct quantity next one is the export quality control and inspection act 1963 this is an act to provide for the sound development of the export trade of india through quality control and inspection and for matters connected therewith the export quality control and inspection act was enacted in 1963 that is to strengthen the export trade through quality control and pre shipment inspections the act prohibits the export of substandard goods as well as the product which do not fulfill the requirement as per the act for the smooth operation of this export quality control and inspection act the government established export inspection council in 1964 Next one is the Environment Protection Act 1986. The it is an act aimed to provide for the protection and improvement of environment and for matters connected therewith. This act that is the Environment Protection Act is an umbrella act as it provides the framework to the central government in order to make the uh, coordination between different state as well as uh, central authorities in matters related to environment as this environment includes water air land and the interrelationship uh, which exists among and between water air land and human beings and other living creatures plants etc so it's known as an umbrella act next one is the bureau of indian standards act 1986 an act to provide for the establishment of bureau for the harmonious development of the activities of standardization marking and quality certification of goods and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto under this act the central government has been authorized to make rules fixing grade designation to indicate the quality of any schedule article specifying conditions regarding manner of marking making packing etc and this is about the bureau of indian standards act 1986 then coming to the agriculture produce grading and marketing act 1937 this act uh, aims in grading and marking of agriculture and other allied commodities with the objectives of making available quality agriculture produce including horticulture and livestock produce to the consumers 
that is it is an act to provide for the grading and mark marking of agriculture and other produce next one is the foreign trade development and regulation act 1992 this is an act to provide for the development and regulation of foreign trade by facilitating imports into and augmenting exports from India and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. The entire scenario of export and imports in India is regulated and managed by the Foreign Trade Development and Regulation Act 1992. These are all the laws and orders that existed before the enforcement of FSSA. The Food Safety and Standards Act 2006 uh, this, that overrides all these food related laws and consolidated the laws relating to food um, and to establish the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India and also this FSSA initiates the harmonization of India's food regulations as per the international standard. And this is all about the Indian food laws. Thank you for listening this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe our channel, share this video to your friends and leave your valuable comments.